Bright and sunny day here at Nasty Nestor Field calls for a great series and some great fun wiffle ball between the Fisher Cats and the Bandits. I am Torn Roth, captain of the Aces, your commentator and umpire for games one, two, and three joined here today, making his first appearance on the camera. Aiden Nyanko, captain of the Nighthawks. Aiden, these two teams, they have some history here as the Fisher Cats last series swept the Bandits. I mean, what do you think the Bandits are going to have to do to not get swept here today? Uh, they got to get their bats off their shoulders and actually make contact with Brandon Crone's pitches. Um, I feel like Brandon Crone's going to come out here and deal, try to sweep them again, clean sweep in both series. But that's really about it. That's yeah. all I got to say. It's all about getting the Bandits' bats going. Brandon Crone against the Bandits is lights out. Absolutely phenomenal. Nothing more to say about it. Just perfection, basically. I mean, the Bandits are going to have to do a lot here. Fisher Cats today actually can secure the one seed if they sweep today. Very interesting statistic to go here by today, but uh, let's get into some player interviews. I am here today with Brandon Crone, captain of the Fisher Cats. Brandon, you have some history here with this team. You've played quite well against them. How are you going to have to keep that up today? Uh, just we can't underestimate, you know, Jack. Jack struggled in his last series, so I think he's going to come out here dialed. Uh, we need to keep doing what we've been doing. Got Matt back here today. Don't have Lucas. You know, it's tough to not have your complete team towards the stretch, but we're just looking to get the series win. We're not too worried about, you know, the one seed clinching just yet. We have six games to do that, so anything it takes to just take it one game at a time and come out with a dub. Great words. And without Lucas, I mean, that's a pitching deficit here. What do you think Matt or Mike is going to have to do in order for you guys to stay in it in that second arm battle? Uh, Mike's going to start second arm. You know, I think he was he was he looked pretty decent in warmups. Uh, I'm just going to have to deal against Jack. I think that's the main highlight here, and you know, I think I'm confident Mike can take down John, and we can pull it off if we do that. So just got to play our game. Brandon Crum, Fisher Cats. I am here with Jack Roth. Jack. Last time you played this team, wasn't the best showing. I mean, what are you guys gonna have to do today to bounce back from that last year? Uh, we gotta hit the ball, do good on pitching. Basically, just do good on everything. Last time you played was actually in Pittsburgh, New York, where we played in that FOP tournament with the Section 6 Spartans. And you made a big return, getting a clutch home run. Do you see yourself making big hits today, or is your team all gonna all around just gonna have to hit well? Well. Teams are not one man teams, so you have to. Everybody has to work together, and yeah, you just have to work all together, and you should win. Smart words, Fisher Cats Bandits. Here we go, game one. Game one, Fisher Cats Bandits. Here we go, baby. Brandon Crone starting. John Hassan leading off. First pitch of this Labor Day series. A strike off the inside corner. A screwball. Jonathan's first time seeing Brandon Crone in the regular season. Oh, two count. Strike three. Jonathan watches it. Brings up a two-two count. Fires. Screwball hits the top. Strike three on Logan Flynn. Two down quick. Jack Roth swing with some heat today. Quick pitch, riser, half swing, goes to Brandon. He's gonna take it himself to the bag, brings up three up, three down for the Fisher Cats. Jack Roth is gonna take the mound here. Two and two here for Brandon Crone. Riser clips the top. Quick strikeout here for Jack Roth. One and two count here for Gulia. Slider clips. What a pitch. Nah, look him up. Three and one count. Dribbler up to the front. It's the, oh, he dropped it and he's safe at first. I thought Hassan would catch that and I was gonna call him out. He would have been? Okay. Still an 0-2 count. Get some swinging. What a pitch again. Sits him down, brings up the Fisher Cats in the top of the second. The full count pitch. Get some swinging. Another full count. 
Taped into the zone, strike three. He gets him back again. Back to back, three and oh counts and gets him on strikeout swinging. Oh, too quick. Quick pitch. Riser clips. What a pitch. Three up, three down again. Get some quick. Riser misses. It's gonna walk him. The full count pitch. Get some swinging on a riser. Outside corner gets him down. One out here for the bandits. Check off. Takes some deals. Riser inside, walks him. Two runners on base now. Just misses the outside and it's another walk. The bases are loaded for Matt Hooten. Three and one. Just holds. He held. That brings in a run. One nothing Fisher Cats. Three and oh. Just misses the outside. Brings in another run. Two nothing Fisher Cats. Inside. That's another walk. Three nothing Fisher Cats. Oh two. Get some. He went around. Strike three. Full count. Get some swing in it. Nix the zone. Strike three. We're going to make that a GIWL pitch by pitch. That was a great sequence. And get some swing for the strike three. Ends the inning. <laughs> yeah, it's his. Full count. Holds on it. That's a walk. Brandon Cronin had a shot at a perfect game. There you go. Full count. Pitch down the middle. Strike three. The bandits are not taking the bat off the shoulder, and it's showing. Jack Roth doing a majority of the work. Full count here for Hassan. Let me get on base, Dad. Hits the zone. Strike three. As a little bit of chirp goes on after the pitch. Big pitch here, full count to Logan Flynn with the runner on first. Kicks and deals. Get some swinging, strike three, and that ends the game. Three nothing Fisher Cats. Bandits got one runner on base and it was Jack Roth. Three nothing, all of the runs coming in off walks. Jack Roth doing the best he can. Bandits are gonna have to get some bats off their shoulders if they want to do anything coming up with these two next two games so we'll head into game two second arm game coming up game two here at nasty nester field john hassan is the starting pitcher for your bandits michael gulia is the starting pitcher for your fisher cats and the lineups are staying the same as game one and nate naiko is making his debut at commentary yes sir full count Ball four. Three and one pitch. Low. Ball four. Full count pitch for John Hassan. Just misses. John Ball four. Just high. John Hassan. Ball four. John Hassan says he's going to put it right in his wheelhouse. And he misses outside. Matt Hooten, one of the best hitters in the league up to bat. Matt Hooten leaves it. Walks in another run. Three and one count. Ball four. No outs. Two and two count. Michael Golia up in the air. Popped. Jack with the catch in the outfield. One and one count. Four nothing, one out. Hit by Matt Hooten. He's gonna try to run it out. And he does! One run comes in. Two runs come in. Six nothing. Fisher Cats. Full count for Mike Golia. High walks John Hassan. Pitch. Hit from Logan Flynn. And he is safe at first. Pop. 
popped by from Jack Roth. Caught Michael Gulia. One out. We know, bitch. Low. Ball four. Full count for John Hassan. Bases loaded. One out. And he strikes him out. Looking. John Hassan down. Ball four. Walks in a run. 3 0 pitch. Walks him. Ball four. Six to three. Ball four. Walks John Hassan. He's trying to send a message or something by hitting him. Ball four. Ball in play. Base runner interference. Batter's out. On the play, base runner interference. The batter is out. Top two. Six five Fisher Cats. Hit by Brandon Crone. Logan Flynn with the error in the outfield. Brandon Crone could have made it to second. Pitched by John Hassan. Hit by Michael Golia. Pop fly. John Hassan with the catch. Batter is out. Just misses outside. Ball four. 1 0. Hit for Brandon Crone, and it is gone! Three run shot, Brandon Crone! Let's go! I, I hate to make you do a Yankee silly, but that's crazy. Three-one shot, Brandon Crow. I got three dingers, yeah. Hits it. Single for Matt Hooten. Brandon Crone is looking to get his fourth homer of the season right here. Pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Ball four, walks him. One and two. Matt Hooten swings, grounder. He has a single, ball comes in. Safe, two runs come in. Two runs come in. Makes the score 11 to 5. Matt Hooten with the base hit. Pitch from John. Ball four. Ball four. Hits the run cap. 12 to 5. Fisher Cats. Strike three looking, Mike Gulia! Sits down, Jackson Davis! Pitch is coming in. Ball four. Walks John Hassan. Three and one count for Logan Flynn. One on, one out. Pitch, ball four. Pitch up. Ball four. Three and one count. Pitches up. Ball four. Pitches on the way. Strike three. Strikes Logan out looking. The powerhouse goes down. Nothing he can do about it. Three and two count. Pitches up. Just misses. Ball four. Strike three. Gets him out of it. With minimal damage, 12-9. One and two count.
Strike three swinging. Hit by Brandon Crone. Safe at first. Pitches in. Ball four. Walks him. 0 2 to Matt Hooten. Matt Hooten swings and misses. Strike three. He is really swing happy in this third inning. Brings Brandon Crone up. Two runners on, two outs. Hit! And that is gone! Moonshot! Three run home run! Brandon Crone! Second one off of John Hassan! We're winning this game. Come on. Come on. Let's go. 14 9. Let's go. Come on. Let me see it. Let me see it. 2 2 to Mike Gullia. No one on. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Strike three! 15 to 9 Fisher Cats. Can the Fisher Cats pull out of it? Hit! Fielded by Brandon! First he's out! Out at first! Here's the pitch, full count. It's in there, ball four. Jackson Davis, hit! Play the one, play the one, play the one, play the one. Out, out at first. Two outs. Bringing up John Hassan. Hit! One comes home. 15 to 10. Logan Flynn. Ball four. Watch Logan Flynn. Ball four. Hit! And that ends the game. Mike Gulio with the play. They win the series. Give us that. Not enough. Grab the brooms. Let's get ready. It's not enough. They win the series. Jackson Davis hits a pop-up. Mike Gulio with the big right play now. on the mound to end the game. Right now. Let's go. Fisher Cats win 15 to 10. Game three of the Fisher Cats Bandits. Who's batting first? The Fisher Cats are in the field to start. Brandon Crone is on the mound. The Fisher Cats have a chance to sweep the bandits. Full count pitch. Strike three. Gets John Hassan looking. Ball four. Logan Flynn worked the walk. Oh, it was paused. That hit. Strike three. Just clips the outside of the zone. Two and two count. Strike three. He swings and misses. John Hassan down. Strike three looking. Ball four, walks Michael Gulia. Strike three, looking. Jack Roth sits Matt Hooten down, the power hitter for the Fisher Cats. Walk, ball four. Mike, keep it alive, let's go. Alright, whatever. Hitters count. Pitch. Ball four. Jack Roth wants the batter. Two into the count. Pitch on the way. 
Strike three looking! Jack Roth sits the powerhouse down once again! Strike three! Swing and a miss! Three pitches, three strikes to sit Logan Flynn down! Pitch. Oh my god. Ball is up! It's up! And it is gone! Jack Rod! The most shot! Dead center! Quick pitch, swing and a miss, strike three! Owen two count to Logan Flynn. Sheer, strike three, sits him down! Pitch is on the way. Strike three, swinging! Ball four, brings up Matt Hooten. The powerhouse of this team. Hit! And the ball is gone! Matt Hooten, two run shot! First pitch! Let's go! Two run shot for Matt Hoot in the powerhouse. Ball four. Pitch. Oh no! In play. He's out at first. Crone makes it to third. Ball four. Walks Matt Hooten. Strike three looking. Yo, come here. Come here. Strike three. Swinging. Two and two. Two. Pitch. Strike three looking. Strike three looking. Pitch from Brandon Crone. Strike three! And they have swept the bandits! Oh! They have just secured the one seed after sweeping the bandits. J for the second time, Jack Roth is really upset over there. He is sitting under a tree, mad. They might have just fell to the four seed. The bandits fell to the four seed? The Bandits will be playing the Fisher Cats in the playoffs. Boys, you guys have just secured the one seed going into the playoffs. Brandon, I'm going to head over to you. Great first game, third game pitching. Even though Jack hit a nuke off you, you guys still came out with the win. And two home runs in the second game. Just walk me through how it felt getting that one seed. It felt nice to play well on both sides for a change, even though, you know, teeing off on a second arm, it's not a crazy accomplishment, but I think we all did well to play something we've been struggling with in the past. Uh, felt good to have Matt back. We definitely missed him against the Nighthawks. For pitching, I just kind of did my thing. Had one little slip up. Can't let that happen in the playoffs. I know what pitch they, uh, he hit a bomb, Jack had a bomb off, and then also John had a foul tip on the same one the next AB. So I just eliminated that and finished the game out without throwing a certain pitch. And then Mike got it done on his end. You know, we did good in the field. We hit for him that game. And uh, 
you know, overall just did what we need to do. We had the opportunity to clinch the one that was handed to us and we proved that we earned it. So I'm happy with our performance today. Mike, I'm going to head over to you. Clutch in game two, getting the win. I mean, getting that win definitely helped the momentum going into game three. Just talk to me about how it felt to just get that win on the mound. You know what? Two words. Not surprised. <laughs> hey, all right. Wow. Yes, sir. Straight to the point. Not surprised. Straight and, the uh, you know, I know what this team's capable of, and we're going to go far from that. Matt, I'm going to head over to you. Game winning home run. Game yeah. three. Um, yeah. You know, it was, it felt pretty good to have a home run after being in such a drought. Uh, you know, since like game one, I haven't had anything. So just being back out here, I, you know, I haven't been out here in a while. So it's just nice to be back. So. Your last series is against the Aces. I mean, it doesn't really mean much to you guys, but congrats on the series win and congrats on the one seed. Thank That's you, your Fisher you. Cats. Boys, tough way to end off the season. I wouldn't call it a disappointment. Oh this is the second time you've been swept by this team, but a lot of things to look out for. Jack, I'm going to head over to you while Aiden's standing behind you. Um, you hit a home run off Brandon Crone, which is probably the – the best hit anyone's got off of him so far. I mean, looking into it, you guys are going to be facing him in the playoffs. What are you guys going to have to do in order to see him a little better in the playoffs? Uh, definitely got to get the bat, the bats off the shoulders, uh, get the uh, bat on ball in play, and because that hit is probably just one of the lucky hits, I'm going to be honest. And pitching, I got to work on my pitching uh, a lot more. Logan, I'm going to head over to you. Not too shabby in the field. Just a lot of unlucky plays. I mean, tough plays in the field. John, same with you. Tough on pitching. Not terrible. Not great. I mean, any of you guys want to say anything extra? I am LeBron James. Uh, um, playoffs. Goodbye. This is your four seed for the playoffs, the Bandits. Yeah. Folks, that is going to go ahead and do it for the second to last series of the 2023 GIWL regular season. As you guys can see to my left and right, the All-Star jerseys are in as we approach the All-Star game. Uh, we're really trying to cram things in here as we're filming this game in the beginning of September. We'll probably be posting series through at least October, but we're trying to finish playing before then. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. As always, this was a fun series, one of the more fun series and just entertaining ones we've had in a while. A lot of implications. Uh, not a lot of implications for the next series in the regular season, but it still has to be played. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you never want to miss a video. Turn on that notification bell. Follow our socials in the description. Check out the stats site. Check out the Instagram and the TikTok in the description. You know, the podcast at this point is sort of doomed for now, but the offseason is going to make a comeback. Just trust us. We have a lot of plans for offseason content. You guys aren't going to want to miss it. We're going to take a big step. But for now, just look forward to the playoffs. We got one more series in the All-Star break before it all comes to a head. And uh, again, drip down in the All-Star jerseys to my sides. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.